Imagine being the last of your kind. The last white rhino stands alone, no mobile phone needed as his kin are all in the sky. The reason? As plain as the horn on his face, a victim of misplaced desires and aggressive hunting. His existence? A lonely one. He doesn't speak the language of the buffalo or the giraffe and humans? They're a threat. He stands in a place once filled with his comrades yearning for companionship, for a family. But the odds of finding a match are slim. Picture a rhinopotamus, a hybrid hope. Yet life remains lonely, especially when you don't speak hyena or crocodile and the elephants. They just add insult to injury. His existence is a testament to animal apartheid under the African sun as brutal as the poacher's gun. It's a sad, lonely time when you can't converse with the zebras or lions. His nights are spent sifting through brochures of safari parks, a poignant reminder of his isolation.